We're back for another Konami sports game here on the N64 Quest. We're going to get through the third of three sports games instead of playing Smash Brothers today. There it is. That's the one I was actually just took a picture of. I'm glad that one came up. So there's two things I want to, excuse me, I want to get to right away. Um, there's one of them because I keep forgetting about it. One of them because it's these title screens and just you just got to see them. There's so many of them. I'm going to keep, keep doing them. This dude, I don't actually know who this is. If you told me, I'd probably recognize his name. But that dude just looks like Norman Smiley. Totally. And I'm probably thinking about it because uh, of... Brian Zane did a review of WCW Mayhem, and there was a Norman Smiley match when he won the... He won the Hardcore title. He was the first Hardcore champ in WCW. So I got Norman Smiley on the brain. That dude looked like Norman Smiley. Um, but these title screens... It, it's, a, it's actually funny because of a larger problem with this game, which is that... There's no MLB license. There's only an MLBPA license, um, which in 1990 fucking nine, to me is just wild that you would have a game with no MLB license but a players association license. Um, at that point, like like there's so many people, you can just get it. You can just get the MLB license. Why would you not pay for it? Or or whatever the fuck happened. Don't release the game without the MLB license. For God's sake. I was I was livid over it that that Madden would release their first game without the NFL license, uh, and then two years later, almost here's that. That's is that Cam and Itty? That must be Cam and Itty. That's not one of the funnier ones. Um, I'm gonna keep talking and I'm gonna keep trying to like pull up these fucking title screens. There's a Bernie Williams picture behind the menu there. It, it's the same pictures basically, um, but they're black and white when they're behind the menu. Um, there's that. That's a good one. That's that's the Roger Clemens. Um, that's good shit. It's good shit. Um, that's McGuire back there, too. Um, so yeah, this, this game has no, I think it's Dusty Baker. I don't know who that is. Um, and again, I feel like if you brought it up, because there's people with, when you're talking about people with glasses on the baseball field, there's Frank Thomas. It's good. That's actually not a bad picture. But these, these fucking pictures, these title screen pictures and the ones that they're cycling through, are the funniest goddamn thing to me, and they wouldn't be that funny if it wasn't for that lack of a license, because they're all in these generic uh, uniforms that you get. You would get a lot in the 16-bit era when games were constantly coming out with only one licensed uh, guy. You'd have the cover athlete, or just in general, they'd have a cover star, but they wouldn't have uh, the MLB or the actual license for the for the uh, for the organization. So you've got, oh my god, I, I cannot get over these. Look at these fucking city city and color scheme banners that they've got here. With these, oh my god. Those look awful. You put that in your video game in 1999? Why? Why would you not just... Oh, so terrible. Uh, anyway, uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about, I keep forgetting to even remind myself of it, uh, or talk about it to anybody, or, or bring it up, is that Konami made good baseball games. We've all played Power Pros at this point because it came out on the PS2 and the Wii. Like, why couldn't we just get Power Pros on the N64? Why did they have to do this? They were releasing Bottom of the Nights. There's like three or four of them for the PS1, and I don't know if those ones translated uh, well at all. I don't even know who I'm going to be. There's no random selection thing, and it's like, ugh. I'll, I'll be the Expos because... The Expos, being the Expos is fun. Um, let's put them up against Expansion Diamondbacks. This is good. Jose, Can Jose Canseco, Bernie Williams. Um, I don't have to do fucking... Okay, so there is a there is a fucking difficulty setting in here. I guess there isn't for like season mode. Or, or it's not it's not there in the... Um... Put this on. Oh, slot. You can set the run amount. All right, we'll do ten. Do ten for that. We might end up needing that. Um, yeah, I'll just leave it on rookie then, I guess. I uh, I tried to do a season. I tried to start a season mode just jumping into this because in the Nintendo Power article, uh, for one thing, dropped a coaster. In the Nintendo Power article and a bunch of the things that I had actually seen about this game online when I was looking it up, people at the time said basically that. There was um, it, the control scheme, and the there was a steep learning curve uh, on the control scheme. Star and 
and Ken Griffey were a lot easier to pick up and play. So I was like, okay, let me try this game out first so that I don't look like a complete idiot if this is some weird setup thing that I need to get through. And what it turned out, this is amazing, actually. It actually plays a lot like MVP Baseball, like 2005, or like the show. Like It's got this control scheme for pitching and batting, uh, not so much the batting. The batting is a lot more like uh, like All Star, um, but the pitching, the way that it like goes back to center and like you know stuff like that, it makes it feel like the thing is I, I gotta figure out a way to see um, a way to see a pitcher's uh, actual lineup of pitches because yeah I don't know it doesn't make any sense. Um, it really does feel a lot like, uh, why am I not control? Okay. Um, it's got the diamond for the, for the C buttons. Uh, it's not point and point and press A. Um, and the way that it like goes back to center and the way that you like, yeah, career is like, I'm throw him out from over there. Um, it feels like, you know, the, the pitching that we've kind of gotten used to over the past, 10, 15 years or so, which is crazy to me because it feels different than um, all the other games at this time, and it's like almost like it's ahead of the curve, but there's a big but as far as that goes. The AI, and the reason I was looking for a difficulty thing on this was because I got absolutely slaughtered in the only game of this that I played. I gave up, no joke. 54 hits, I think, and let up, you know, 30 something runs. It was unfucking believable to think. Like, and that's why I put the slaughter rule on, for one thing. I can't believe I got out of that inning. Maybe the, maybe the difficulty was on, like, uh, was on, like, veteran or something when I did the season mode. But Jesus Christ, like, it blew me away how sloppy it was to think, like, Okay, I feel in control of this pitch, but the AI was unreal because it had the most perfect eye you can imagine, and I couldn't find anything in the regular menus. Like, I had to go to the exhibition and change it uh, before the game. This is actually going a lot better, so I think that there's something about season mode where they make it, like, there's only one difficulty, or maybe I just messed it up somehow, and there was a difficulty setting and I didn't do it right. Because I'm getting way better contact on everything that I thought I was doing the uh, the first time. Um, so yeah, I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, I was looking at it, I'm like, apparently Mike Soraka is like, you know, harder to hit than Randy fucking Johnson is right now because he was striking everybody out. I couldn't get any contact on him whatsoever. Uh, after a while, I gave up trying to hit hit for power, which is just you hold, uh, you hold Z, which on pitching is... Um, change in the defensive alignment. Um, I don't have a really good grasp of why control gets messed up uh, when you're pitching. I still don't really get that. Um, and they don't really have a great... It's a sports game, as you might imagine. There's not the greatest feature on it. It's, no, it's six pages long. Or five pages long, excuse me. Um, oh, so that's weird. That's actually way worse than I would have thought. Um, so, if I had a good look at what everybody's picks, pitch selection is, I'd know what not to throw. Um, but basically, everybody has... Everybody has the same uh, diagram for pitches, which is uh, straight up is a fastball. So we'll throw a fastball here. But then, like, that happens. That's, what I, that's the part I don't really understand. And now they're starting to... Just fucking shellac me already. Um, yeah. I just wanna. I just wanna bring up the uh, summary for bottom of the ninth here, uh, including fast game times. Yeah, no shit. You're gonna see that. This is also like the fastest baseball game I've played in a while. Um, they completely like skip an animation of. The pitcher even resetting himself, let alone the ball getting thrown back to him or anything like that. 
Oh, that's a thing I remember now, too. It's got the most fucking annoying camera angle when the ball gets hit for a, a fly ball. Um, straight up, every single fly ball that goes out of the infield, regardless of how deep it is and what chance you have of, of uh, fielding it, every single one uh, will get that camera angle that every other game uses to show, oh my god, that thing's not even catchable, like you're screwed. Uh, so I had to just get used to the idea of, oh, I still have to be ready to move my fielder once I have an idea of, as to where he is relative to where the ball is going to land. Like, every single fly ball gets that gets that camera angle, and it's so frustrating because you have no idea how to, how to prep for that. You have no idea how to move your guys while it's on that camera angle. It sucks. I don't like that at all. Um, I literally would have, like, it'll show you that camera angle. And I'll be like, oh, God, I don't know what to do. And then it'll give you control, and your guys run into the warning track, and you're just just uh, short enough of, of tracking the ball down. And you're like, if you hadn't been, like, moving in real time, and I knew how to actually feel that instead of you showing me the air and not anything that's going on on the ground, I would have been able to, to track that ball down. I would have gotten to it, like... That's a super frustrating thing that happens. I, I don't like it at all. There's a lot of small things with this game, but really it's just like... I, I, I played the one game, and I was just like, I'm going to get through this game. I want to see, like, do I improve to, you know, do I improve uh, the speed at which I can get guys out? And it's just like, I, I gave up 50 hits. No joke. Uh, the game never ended. I, like... This is going okay. I'm still on rookie mode, and like, what? It's it's still only one nothing. I've given up. I think it was four hits. It's look at that. And, and so like, what am I doing? What am I doing? They're not switching to that fielder. They're not helping me. Oh my god! What was that? What was that throw? He's is some completely off the mark throw. The the camera is is moving around to the point that I don't even know where the ball's going. They apparently know where the ball's going, and I don't. That's bullshit, dude. I don't like that. I don't like feeling like the game knows what's going on and it's not telling me. Here's the pitch. There's a lot of stuff I don't like about this. That's that's the that's generally how it is. And it really gets me that that's a thing. Because when you go back to just the this setup, this pitching and hitting uh, setup here, it looks like I know what this game is. I, I know, I understand this game. I understand how to play it. And then you, you're completely thrown off by everything that it does after that. Even the, even the uh, positioning the ball in the strike zone, you have such a small amount of time because his, even, I, it even happens like when there's nobody on base, he's not pitching from the stretch. Even that, like, Track the amount of time from when I, I press the A button and it shows that actual, like, and it shows that emblem and how much time I have before the ball leaves the guy's hand. And remember that you have, like, a there's a perfectionist, like, thing to the placement. You have to be able to place it really, really well. Because um, there's a difference between a ball and a strike is, you know, not very much. So, yeah, it, it expects you to do a lot with very little timing, even on the pitching thing, which it's, it's not fun. I'm going to start trying to hit for power since I actually have a guy on base now. That's not holding Z, it's a toggle thing. My mistake. Yeah, he got me with the change on that one, I'll admit. That was, uh, that's all me. Here's the pitch. Um, also going to point out, this game does not look great. This game actually, um, this game constantly makes the, the field overall seem way smaller than it is, which a lot of other games have a really good job of making the field seem bigger than it is, which I won't say I prefer it either way, but when they make the field seem bigger, for some reason, I, I'm immediately thinking of All-Star Baseball, and Triple Play kind of did more of what this did, which is, there wasn't as much detail, but I'm thinking specifically of All-Star Baseball, um, and the, All-Star Baseball blows me away with its graphics, I am 
never not impressed looking at the all-star baseball games and the graphics that they have for this for this system compared to every other every other game let alone every other baseball game apparently i had some drop frames i don't know where they were trying to keep an eye on it i have the the frame counter is literally half of it sticking out directly under um See, that looks like a home run when it comes off the bat. And when the announcer says it. It's a high fly. And it's like mid shallow to mid right field. Are you kidding? Why are you doing that for that? Again, what's this? And that's a and that's a four hundred and twenty five foot home run. They put the same amount of emphasis on the camera angle for the shallow fly ball as they did for the 425-foot middle-of-the-bleachers home run to the same exact area, the same angle off the bat. That blows me away that they have no awareness of that in this game. What the fuck was that? He was just like... It looked like he was trying... The, the angle that the game tried to put him on, because that was an assisted thing. That wasn't me running. That literally looked like the angle that they tried to put the fielder on that he just did the same thing. He looks like he's... They have a way to face him this way, and they have a way to face him this way, but not a way to face him directly down the line he was. So, wow, that was... Uh, this do That does not look good. Can I get some runs? I have two hits. Can I get some runs out of this? Alright, I had the... Power, the power reticle squared up on that ball with Vladimir Guerrero, and apparently that's only uh, a soft liner to pass second base. Uh, whatever. I don't. I don't actually know what's going on. And oh, cool, he's gonna get on an error. That makes me feel great. The pitch. Here's the pitch. That was a close one. Oh my god, another error, and it's still gonna... Oh, they could've just... I was gonna say, that was still gonna be a double play. Nope. Apparently I'm super late on these. And I'm trying to turn on it faster. That's probably not even deep enough for him to tag up. No, I'm not even gonna do that. Here's the pitch. High fly to left field. Same exact ball. Same exact ball. Totally screwed me on that. Oh, God. So you got that three-run homer. They have 11 hits to my three. And they've also had two fielding errors. Okay. Here's the windup. Grounder to first. Cool. Everyone converge on first base. That's fine. All three of them. I feel like that's not how that defensive positioning works. But it should. It didn't need to be. Like as soon as one do. As soon as the pitcher was covering, I feel like the second baseman should have backed off. Whatever. I'm asking too much of it now. It's a fucking N64 game. Um. Will you instead of taking the angle to it and stopping? I feel like you had a real shot at that ball. I'm just going to say that. Cool. At least we got out of that one fairly painlessly. Get the other Guerrero over here. Not understanding the contact here because I was dead on on that. You see it for that half a second it pauses when, when, the, ball, when the bat hits the ball. You see that reticle and... Please give me an explanation as to why these are so weak. I'll I'll hit for power with Brad Fulmer. I'll I'll give it a shot. That's it's not a pitch to swing at. I'll give it a I'll give it a the old college try for Brad Fulmer. I was inside on him. I'll give him that. That wasn't that wasn't the greatest. Not not a good swing. So we'll have to see you next time. But but let's let's take a really close look, honestly, at um when when the bat hits the ball what it actually looks like because that's starting to starting to frustrate me for sure 
Carl Pavano! Carl Pavano, how hard is that? Um... Sure. The Maddox name is enticing me. I realistically, I don't know. I don't think I know any of those those names, actually. Cool. The warm-up... The, the warm-up thing is another thing that really is, is reminiscent of, of more modern baseball games. Like, we don't... You don't see that a lot in the older ones, but it it's also like... Get get over there. Yeah, don't don't take that fielding it on the bounds. Vladimir Guerrero knows better than that. Here's the pitch. Cool. Uh getting lucky here. Here's the wind up. Line drive. It dropped sure. I spoke too soon, huh? Throw to second. Do you notice though, like how how fast is this game moving? Like they cut away from the foul balls pretty quickly, and they get everything reset really really fast. So that's like one thing it has going for it. But it it goes too fast in a lot of in a lot of times. I, that's what really is crazy to me. It's it like without without any like contact. Look at how fast this at bat goes by. Cool. No, he didn't. That's a. Uh, that was not going to be a hit, no matter what. All right, we got Cabrera and Guerrero coming up next. Maybe I didn't hit the. Maybe I didn't take the. Uh, the most bad heavy team out here, but. Nope, you're not going to get me with those. Nicely done. Okay. Now let's switch. we we'll, you know, switch to the power radical with uh, with Vladdy here and see what it gets him. Not if you're swinging at that low shit. Oh, that was tough movement. All right, I gotta swing at garbage now. That was bad. Here's the pitch. Wrong button. One. Come on. Hey, I actually got something out of. Oh, I was. I was gonna say that was about to be short. That was about to get just short and uh, get caught on the warning track. But I actually got lucky that time. I actually got something out of it. And that was right to the second baseman. So. Win so lose so. Oh, that was low. It might be. It could be. It could be Just short, and I'm not paying attention, and I'm going to try and stretch for two. Thank God I did not fuck that up. <laughs> Come on. Here's the pitch. I'm rolling now. Now the pitch. A hard shot. Get me. Thought that was a decent. Here's the pitch. A little bit inside. Nope. Here's the pitch. It's drifting Get down. it! Oh my god, no. Come on! Two runs. That sucks. That feels like... Sh that feels terrible. Alright, I'm gonna put another pitcher in. Not because he did bad, but... Put another pitcher in. Alright. I'm gonna take a real close look. Why do they have two closers? Alright, so fastball, right, and down left and down right. Okay, let's go. What? No! Ow. Yes. If you hit B, it undoes it. Oh, he's got a great ERA. Inspires so much confidence in me right now. So that's all right. Yeah, you remember it's the same for everybody. So he's got a sinker, a curve, and a slider. The wind up. Apparently, enough pitchers have a screwball that uh, control stick left is reserved for a screwball. Oh. 
And I don't know why that ever happens. That that still doesn't make any sense to me. Great. Is that why he has a nine nine and a half ERA? He pulls up with a double. Now the pitch. Oh. Nope. The pitch. A sharp line drive to left. Base hit. Yeah, he really uh, got some movement on that curveball, didn't he? Pulls up with a single. Don't know how he got any contact on it. Here's the pitch. This guy sucks, huh? Way back. Wow. Wow. This dude sucks, doesn't he? This is actually very similar to what was happening to me in that game that I gave up 54 hits. And yeah, he's safe. Uh, let's go get somebody else. Because I... Yeah, apparently this dude is just bad. Or I'm trying to do too much with him. Steve Bennett. Uh, let's bring this dude in because I like his mustache. And he's got a uh, semi-decent fucking uh, pit selection. And a semi-decent uh, top speed, it seems, too. Come on. I I pointed upwards. I wanted a fastball. Oh. 91 on his fastball. It's all right. 89 on that one. Great. Cool. Great. Here's the pitch. Outside. Bullpen's giving me a lot of help lately. High fly, it's a fucking blooper. Like, stop calling it that. The pitch. It didn't even get that fancy looking camera angle where I get all thrown off. Get. Oh, you should have dealt for that. Help me out here. Here's the pitch. I still have no outs. Get a fucking double play. He's safe at first. Are you kidding me? I, should, I feel like I should have thrown that home on the four side at home, but I wasn't thinking about that. I was thinking about, oh my god, can I get two outs out of one pitch? I need this. So, look at how little time there really is, though. Like, look at how fast how, how fast this at-bat goes by. And how little time there actually is in between pitches, because I don't need to think too hard about what I'm going to actually throw. Maybe I should, because I suck. Or so this game thinks. Oh, my God. I'm trying to throw a fastball. It's not that complicated. I literally, I have the control stick pointed up, and I'm just like, just throw fastballs, just throw them high enough that they might not, that they, that they might swing at them because they're high. And I'm like, he, he's just throwing curve, uh, change ups and being like, whoa, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I, why? Why is that a thing with a throwing a fastball? Are these guys, like, is there control of this? Uh, I wanted a pitch hit, uh, pinch hitter, but I had, like, no time to fucking react to it. What? Okay, pinch hitter. Yes, thank you. Hey, Jose Vidro. He's, I mean, I know he's not the... My face whenever the game, when, whenever this game undoes something because I wanted to do something and I'm like, oh, and then I hit B. My face is the fucking, did you look under the tray uh, for the burgers from Squidward? Did you look under the tray? Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, you're not calling a strike from that bullshit. Oh, God, that was not a good pitch to swing at. That was upside. Like the high ones. Gotta swing at that. Nope, that was terrible. What are you doing? This is embarrassing. Now I'm just in, I'm trying to get through this fucking home stretch here. Cool. I haven't had any more uh, frame rate issues. I don't think. That's all I was checking. Fuck you. 
Right at him. Right at him. Six hits. I have six hits, and I've gotten on two more errors. Oh, my God. I'll put fucking Carl Pavano in. I don't care. It's an exhibition game. You know something? I uh, I forgot to mention it. The fucking... Even Fenway Park doesn't look right because they don't have the... I assume it's because they don't have the rights to the ball fields because they don't have the MLB license. So even then, I'm just thinking about this. I'm like, are we at... We must be at the pre-chase field. Yeah, I... Give me any fucking indication that I'm going to be able to get anywhere near that. Thank you. If that was out of the... It, like, that's out of the park. If it's going to hit off the wall, show the reticle on the wall so I maybe actually prepare for it. That's garbage. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I assume this is pre... Because... Oh, no, I'm the home team. So, yeah, this is... Expos. I don't even know where the Expos play it. I... I'm trying to think if I've ever heard or seen anything from the Expos. It's vaguely, this seems vaguely familiar as far as if I'm thinking about the Expos. But uh, yeah, I straight up, I took the Red Sox and I played at Fenway Park. And Fenway Park does not look right. Like, I'll say, like, they, they made, like, the same type of, they put a, a similar wall in left field, but it does not look correct. Um, because I feel like if they tried to be too similar... To Fenway Park, they would have been like, they would have got sued. So, um, I actually am in somewhat interested in looking at some of the other ballparks uh, and seeing uh, how close they actually managed to get. Because if you, go, I mean, again, I'll bring up All Star Baseball. If you look at All Star Baseball, everything's picture perfect. It looks exactly the way it should. Uh, fantastic game in every aspect. Um, and Ken Griffey is great too, and we'll be playing Ken Griffey soon. Um, it's a tough, it's a tough call on whether Ken Griffey at this point is going to have anything up on uh, All Star Baseball. They're pretty much even. Um, I really, I really do think very highly of uh, of All Star Baseball 2000 as like if you want baseball games, like son of a bitch. This dude had 25 home runs. I'll hit. For, he, he hit the last home run. So I'll try and hit for power. I'll, I'll get absolutely nowhere. Great. And one more chance to actually fucking do anything with this, with this batting order. Let's see how much they'll run up the score. They might actually not even give me the chance because they'll bust out the. Uh... No, because they let me hit. They would let me hit if they enforce the mercy rule, so. At least I'm not getting mercy ruled in this game, but. I'm probably going to lose by something like 12, 13 to 2. The way this inning's going. I'm going to, I'm actually going to pay like real close attention. I'm going to go fastball, high up. All right, he hit it. It didn't go every which way but loose. Fuck you. Oh, fuck you. That's stupid. Way off the mark. It hit him off the glove. It's not the guy who threw its fault. That was dumb. That was an AI glitch right there because he went back to the base and then tried to tag up the second. That was weird. I'll bet you the AI is looking for the ball in the actual outfield on those. Which is just something that they should have fixed. But they didn't. AI in this game is actually kind of garbage. Because there's no balance to it. Even when you're, you know, I'm getting my ass kicked. It's like, well, they can fucking hit anything. And they, they have tremendous sense of discipline. I actually got somebody on base. This is it. Rally caps on, everybody. Swinging at all the low shit. It's a good way to waste anything you did right. That was it. Great job.
Great. Absolutely fantastic. Was it actually 29 minutes? Does that, did it actually take that long? It took 29 minutes. Crazy. It felt even shorter than that. All right. Um, so you've seen this. It's, it's just not great. It's, the feel is off. It doesn't have, it has no sense of graphical superiority. It has, it's missing the MLB license. It, the feel is wrong uh, for pace of play. The control scheme somehow is ahead of its time and doesn't work. It just doesn't work right. It's, you know, we'll give it that. There's one thing that this game has that a lot of other stuff doesn't have, and I will give it a shot now. It's called Scenario Mode, where it's you've seen it in other games. You've seen it in, uh, I think it was in one of the quarterback clubs, actually. Um, but this is it in baseball. So let's go for an easy one, honestly. Um, yeah, not that one. Let's go for one of these just so far that has like a one-star difficulty. If we do that, we'll do like a two-star difficulty. What's this one? Oh, that's probably not happening. It's 20 different scenarios. Um, this is something that's actually done amazingly well in... Um, ESPN NFL 2K5, and uh, I think in both of the ES ESPN branded baseball games, or or uh, football games, um, because they have really, really good historic scenarios. Oh, and they're going to put me on this weird uh, camera angle B, which I didn't even bother to try before. All right. So, yeah, since I'm only going to be pitching from here anyway, they put me in there with two strikes and one out. Why? Okay. Tony Graffanino. One of my favorite names in there. Graffanino. Hello, I'm Graffanino. Oh, but the fielding in this fucking camera angle sucks. Well, I blew it. Oh, and the fucking pitching diamond is uh, the fielding diamond is reversed. That's no fun. So, so what then? So, wasn't, did I just blow it? That, that was it, right? Yeah, just right up the, right up the middle. Why are you diving, Steve Finley? What is the matter with you? Oh, because it's, because it's backwards, again, because I don't, cool, so we suck. Uh, I'm not using that camera angle again. Absolutely no way. Just let's just see if we can beat one of these. That's all we need. No ball. <sighs> see camera angle. See what's that look like. Oh, I don't like that. No, 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 no. Straight behind the batter. That's all I want. Straight behind the batter. Thank you. Oh, so two strikes and no outs. That's that's the situation I'm coming into. Weird to have me do it on two strikes rather than just start the inning. You know, it also really bugs me. Can I get, like, okay, so I can actually come in and look at what his uh, his pitch uh, his pitch array is because. That would be really that would be extra shitty if they made me do it and not even know going into it what I have for options. It doesn't matter because they'll hit literally anything I throw at them. He dropped the ball. Literally dropped the ball. Hey, I actually got super lucky on that because the AI is stupid. Yeah, the AI is amazing behind the plate, and then every other time, uh, the base running or the fielding is is complete garbage. I'm trying to throw a fastball. All I'm do Really? You gonna you gonna let Chipper Jones basically score an inside the park home run, I think, is is he's got a shot at that. No, he's he's gonna get a triple and and uh, I'm completely screwed out of this scenario already. Thank you. That's what I wanted. I want a fastball. I want a Randy Johnson goddamn fastball. 
I don't care if he's only throwing 94 right now. It's better than any other pitch any other pitcher can give me. Here's the pitch. Line drive. And, okay. It falls in safely. Good job diving and completely wasting any throw that you might have been able to get to home plate. No, we're doing this. We're gonna we're gonna beat this. Hopeless. Hopeless fielders. By the way, look at this ad for uh, Blades of Steel ninety nine right at the end of the bottom of the nine feature. God, disastrous trilogy. So in the zone is fine. That's what I forgot to change the camera angle. Also, let Walt twice on. On the first pitch. Jesus. Cool, so that was two successful fastballs in a row. What I don't understand is this. Is why... What are you actually... So I tried to throw another fastball because this fastball is an amazing pitch for any pitcher. He's throwing fastballs tired faster than any other pitcher in this game is throwing them. Throwing a uh, throwing their full strength fastball. Why would I do any Oh good God. He's on board with a single. That should have been a double play. We all know it. A little dribbler in front of home plate. Oh You tell me that was Apparently that bounced. <sighs> All of a sudden, like, I have the same issue that I have in any other baseball game, which is that the guys are, are there, but apparently I'm not in exactly the right position for them to actually field the ball. <sighs> We're doing it. Keep rolling. This will be it. Once I do, once I actually do something successfully in this game, that's it. Hey, I got it. And so you know what's crazy too is that all of the guys in their black uniforms actually just look like umpires. So I keep thinking that my fielders are umpires, which is stupid. I know that. I know it's stupid, but like, there's no. There should be lettering on their on their uniforms, or is that what their uniforms look like? Because these don't look like Diamondbacks uniforms to me. Is this what 1999 Diamondbacks uniforms were? Because it doesn't it it doesn't check out to me. All right, we got two outs, and here comes Chipper to screw me over. Probably gonna hit a solo shot here. Like it's especially cons would have been the third out. Would have been the third out, but my first baseman just ran around it. The pitch. It's crazy, too, because the umpires have fucking blue shirts. Here's the pitch. But it doesn't matter. They straight up look like the umpires. The pitch. Tell me I'm wrong. Wild pitch. Wild pitch. Are you kidding me? Now the pitch. Anything that can go wrong Here's the pitch. will go wrong. Wow, that was generous, to say the least. Oh, God. Why are you diving? What are you doing? Oh, mercy. That was just mercy. That's all that was. Oh, my God. That they actually sent Chipper. Because Steve Finley's out there diving for no goddamn reason. Every si Why am I... Right, it's two to two. See, I was blowing it just from the fact. Was that Greg Maddox? Is that Greg Maddox with the glasses? See, now I'm blowing it just on the sense that I I'm completely forgetting that it's actually tied. Therefore, I actually have to hit the ball, which means I'm so screwed. Pop up, like oh my god, embarrassing. Here's the pitch. It's exactly like when I uh, when I wrapped up the third quarter in that last game I played of in the zone, and I was like, "Oh my God, we're moving on!" Oh God, yeah, no, there's a whole other quarter to play. You're just getting excited for no reason. Fuck you! God damn it, Maddox! I flinched. That was I think that was all me. 
Okay. Nope. Oh wait, unless their fielders are hopeless. Yeah, they are. First base should have covered that, or second. I think the second baseman should have been getting that. Oh, no, oh. See, if you'd given me more than half a second to process that, I would have already gotten the pinch hitter for Randy Johnson. So I have to go with him being one deep with one strike in this fucking at-bat. No, in this game, they'll probably throw me out at first just to just to screw me. No, it'll just be an easy pop fly to the pitcher. It's fine. All right, one more inning to play. Oh, God. Oh, this is the pick of the litter, isn't it? Alamaco. Eighty nine, really blown up by him. Ooh, he had ninety on that one. Here's the wind up. Strike. Yeah, first pitch could have just yeah. Not a pitch. Pitch high. Ooh, ninety. The pitch. Come on. That's strike two. Not a pitch. Line drive to right center. Nope. Keep thinking I'm going to be able to reach up and grab it with the second baseman. It's not going to happen. That's strike one. Now the pitch. That's strike two. Here's the pitch. He's out of there. Hey, you got him. Uh, so first pitch, I had that fastball. I had the control stick pointed up for both the second and the third pitch. I have to point out. And they both came off as changeups. Now the pitch. Outside. Here's the pitch. Low. And yeah, these are all just coming off as changeups. Now the payoff pitch. Bring him up. Yay! Struck him out on the three and two. Amazing. Here's the pitch. And now we got Andrew Jones. Outside. Andrew or Andrew? I always feel like I'm supposed to Outside. say Andrew. The pitch. The smash down the line. Yeah, just give him an easy one to hit. It's fine. Fucking lollipop. Oh my god. I'm going to lose on another fucking error. Bullshit. Absolute garbage. Alright, we're going to give it one more try. Uh, if, Regardless of how it goes, if I fail, that's it. Like, we've been doing it for all, we've been doing this for 48 minutes. This is the one I'm going with. This is the one I'm going to try. It shouldn't be the most difficult thing in the world. I literally just have to get out of an inning with the best pitcher in the entire game and score one run. And they give you two strikes to set up on Walt Weiss. I don't know why. Such a weird position to put me in. They could just have me start out the inning, but yeah, he wasn't going to get that. Yep. Cool. I cannot wait to play fucking Smash Brothers at this point. Holy shit. They, they can't decide which one of them is going to go pick it up. And now there's a beach ball on the field. And the outfielders are deciding which one of them is going to go get it. Strike about a terrible pitch. Hi. 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 The hard shot. It, oh, shortstop. Throw him up. Throw him up. Throw him up. Throw him up. It's not. He's not going to. He's on board with a single. Here's the pitch. Strike one. Some low ones. Not getting anything up there. The pitch. He's out of there. Nice. There you go. No All right. We can do this. Please have mercy. Please give me the the wherewithal to pause the game with that half second before Randy Johnson comes up to bat. 
Get down. Get down. Get down. Oh, you suck. If I even get to Randy Johnson. If I'm three up and three down, screwed. I don't even get to take him out of the game. Here's the pitch. High fly to left. <sighs> I feel like I should have gone in with the power. Yeah, not this dude. Nope. What? You're going to call that a strike, really? Is that... No, that's completely misleading. God. Well, I guess I get to keep rolling with Randy Johnson for the next inning. I'm not giving up on him. 96. He's still throwing 96 out here. E, 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 E. Take the pitch. He takes a cut and misses. Noisley done. Swung right through that one. Nice. Lo, 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 lo. Get it. Throw the first. He's out. Nice. Now the pitch. A little bit outside. Here's the wind-up. Strike. Nice. Here's the pitch. Even lower. Strike. Who's going to call a strike on? He's out of there. Nice. All right. We got the top of the order. Oh, we got Randy Johnson and then the top of the order. So let me pause it. Let me pause it. Let me pa Oh, thank you. Pinchy. Batista. It doesn't matter who I get. It's not going to make any difference. <laughs> oh, is that going to get down before he gets there? Amazing. Should not have. Should have Should have been caught by the se uh, second baseman. Easily. Here's the pitch. That's a <sighs> Mercy. Inside. Now the pitch. Oh. I looked at the close one and I swung at the terrible one. The hard shot. Get through. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That is the hardest I have hit a ball even on home runs in this game. I hit that ball harder than I hit that home run I hit earlier. And it hits, and it goes for a double goddamn play. Here's the windup. Telemaco. Now the pitch. Fly ball. Nope, that was supposed to be a fastball. Get. Should have lay out for it. Could have, could have, but no. Right through that one. Here's the pitch. I'm trying to throw fastballs every single time here. These are all supposed to be fastballs. Oh, that was on the line. You gotta give me that. I'm trying to hit it. Sucks. Here's the pitch. In there. There you go. Nice. Here's the pitch. Get him! Oh, thank you for calling that a tag. Here's the pitch. Realistically, that was not. He's going to third. He's gonna be. How did he beat that throw? How did he beat that tag? You just suck at that tag. He should have been out easily. Ah! Not gonna let me get there. Here's the pitch. A hard shot to short. Just easy one. Okay. Easy one. No run. Even if I go up, I still have to get through another inning. Another half. Should say. A sharp line drive to left get down there. Get down there. Get down there. Get there. Oh, he's going to get to it. Come on. Here's the pitch. At least didn't it. That's your cleanup hitter? The fucking catcher? He pulls it in for the out. 
Wind up. Fly ball down the line. Oh. He has Embarrassing. Three up. Three down. Now the pitch. It's high. The pitch. Strike. Two. The wind up. Trying to throw fastballs here. That's strike two. Trying. Trying is the key word. Bring him up. Somehow got Andres Galarraga out with those miserable, terrible looking pitches. I don't even know what he's doing. Now the pitch. Strike two. I control stick is up. There we go. Here's the wind up. He gets the strike out. None of those chains were supposed to be change ups. They were supposed to be fastballs. That one was supposed to be a curve. I'm not sure I'm doing it right. Strike two. Now the pitch. Brown ball. Here's the wind up. It's drifting foul. Get under it. He snags it. Thank you. The side is retired after 12 innings. The score is tied. Come on, Finley. Strive. Why am I swinging at that? Now the pitch. I want this to be over. They're still rolling with Greg Maddox. It's been 13 goddamn innings. Got it. That's wrong. That's that shouldn't be allowed. The pitch. Inside. Now the pitch. High fly. Get. Oh my God! Not even close to the distance it needs. Stop making me think this. Here's the wind up. Strike call. You're calling that a strike. That's a joke. Drop to third. Oh. Throw to first. This is awful. Set him down. This is this is so awful. Like what happens when I go to my last reliever and it's just 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 stretches on endlessly. I don't know how I struck him out on that. They're still rolling with Greg Maddox. It's the 13th inning. You can pinch hit for him. The pitch. He looks at a strike. Now the pitch. He gets the strike out. Here's the pitch. Swing the miss. Is everyone that tired? That they're just whiffing on these admittedly not that great pitches? Because my pitcher is worn down? Nope. He pulls up with a single. I want to leave this guy in because I think he's first up in the next half inning, so. He's going to third, and he's going to get there. Nope. Oh, I guess I lost. Wow. It's like hardly worth the effort. I don't know. I don't know. The batting in, in, in this game just does not work. It's not working for me. I don't know. Ugh. So that's bottom of the ninth. I, there, I, a side by side comparison. I genuinely do not know if it's gonna come out on top of Mike Piazza's strike zone, but I'm not in the mood to do that right now and tell you. Uh, it's gonna get the same score for me. It's gonna be like a four out of ten, which is I feel generous for both of those games at this point. Um. 
All in all, there are five great baseball games and one other really good one on the N64. Don't waste your time on these two garbage one-offs. They are not worth it. Especially when one of them, at least one of them, I don't even know if Mike Piazza has it, but at least one of them, this one here, doesn't have an MLB license, which leads to some hilarious uh, pictures as you see them scrolling by. But nothing else. Past the title screen, it's not worth it. And my god, it's, it's next time I do this, it's going to be time to play Super Smash Brothers, And that'll be great. And I'll have people on Twitch actually watching me and harassing me and telling me how much I suck. But whatever. I'm going to play a game I actually want to play. And with good reason. I'll actually want to play it. Um, so until then. Konami. What, what were you doing? What was Osaka doing? These are all made by the Osaka studio. Anyway. What the fuck, Konami? We should have got Power Pros.